All right, planning a sail today. It uh, looks like it's about four and a half meter weather and uh, couldn't resist getting these two bad boys out the, out the back of the van. Uh, I'm gonna take them both out today, that's the plan. Test them both. Just got the, um, the Pyro 93. Really only sailed it once um, with any power and that was on one run. So uh, today will be really interesting to take it out in some decent conditions. I've got a set of K4 Leons on the Py Pyro 93 uh, twins. So um, both of them set really loose, should be good. Um, very much looking forward to it, very much looking forward to getting out on these guys. Okay, so welcome to this review of the Severn Pyro. I was looking at this for a while. It came out last year in 2021. Um, it was billed as being a proper waveboard, but also as being really fast. And I think I I wasn't I wasn't convinced that you could have a board that was going to carry so much speed and still be really good at turning. I was I was I was skeptical about that. So the previous clip was just a short clip of me recently sailing um, the board in four meter, four and a half meter weather over three or four days um, at my local um, beach. Um, and I guess, it, again, it was I was classic big bump and jump. The, the camera on my Insta360 definitely flattens the, the, the water so you don't get a true perspective of the size of the swell, but there's some chunky bits of swell out there. Great fun for jumping off, um, great fun for jibing down. And what I was doing with the board, because this is the, the these last few days have been the first time I've been able to properly test it, was one go out and see uh, what its acceleration was like, um, two um, see what it was like if I sort of simulated yeah, getting on a wave, holding up wind, then waiting, waiting, waiting until the wave started to go, and then going down a bit of swell and seeing how how fast it could get going down, seeing what it was jib like jibing and its maneuverability, just playing around with it backside, front side. Um, jumping as well, um, absolutely superb, absolutely superb. Um, so I would say from it, from, I'm really amazed at how fast it accelerates, um, no doubt about it, it just takes off. Um, it's, it feels electric um, underfoot, if that makes any sense, so it just feels really alive. And um, talk about fin configuration in a minute, but that I would say in terms of how the board feels, it feels, it feels alive, it just feels really alive, really electric, and, and that's right from the get-go of the first time I got on the board. Just felt really comfortable straight off, which is superb. Okay, so let's look at the dimensions of the board. So it, it's 93 litres, this one. This board, the 93, is 221 centimetres long, 61 and a half centimetres wide. In terms of fins, so the board comes with five boxes and you can set it up exactly as you like. As I've tried it as a thruster just once and it was really good. Um, very sure-footed, still felt electric, but um, you know it felt it felt really good. Bottom line, um, I tried it as um, a quad once as well. Comes with the quad. It comes with tens at the front. It comes with fifteens at the back for the quad. Uh, really high quality fins. Um, that felt that felt pretty good. I was really surprised actually. In the past, I've not been a huge fan of quads. I've always gone for thrusters, um, but it didn't feel too sticky. It still felt really, um, you know, really sort of loose and, uh, and fast, but just that sort of planted feel, um, which on that particular day I used it, it was mega windy and that was that was a real advantage. Um, but still really maneuverable, really electric, um, really sort of really sort of dug in, which was cool. But again, not big waves, just big swell. Um, so real world conditions, I guess. But predominantly how I sailed the board has been um, with the, the twins. And these are K4 um, Leons, uh, the stiff ones. 
and I believe this is a pretty similar um, setup to what Philip Coster uses. Now, interestingly, he is similar weight to me. I think he's maybe even maybe a little bit heavier. I'm about 88 kilograms, 89 kilograms, um, and these are 18 uh, K4 Leons. So with, for me, with a set of 18s in this, um, and yeah, I've been out in, in strong winds, no doubt about it. This board is is super fast, but super loose, super electric, um, so manoeuvrable, so much fun. That's that's what I would say. It's so much fun and so so easy to sail, and it keeps going. If I get any lulls, or if I keep, or in terms of acceleration as well. So say I've done a jump and I've stalled. This thing isn't sticky. It just wants to take off. And I think that's the big difference for me from the last board I had with the same literage was that board, the uh, previous one was very sticky and it didn't really get going that quickly. This thing just wants to take off, which for me is really, is really cool, it's really helpful. So would I recommend it with the twin setup? I definitely would. I've now sailed it, like I said, probably four days, big bump and jump conditions with the twins, tried the quad once. I really like the twin setup. The quad was really good though as well. I would still go for the twins for me. And then a couple of days ago, I sailed it in probably logo high waves. Um, first time sailing the board in proper waves. And again with the twins and it was excellent. Kept its speed really well on the bottom turn and it was kind of cross on. So it wasn't perfect cross shore. You know, you have to do that clue first right into the wave um, when you were turning. But, uh, but the board kept its speed really, really well. I was really impressed. But for me, that's a big thing, uh, then to keep its speed. In terms of the, the board shape, it's a single concave um, uh, into a V through the tail. Um, in, terms of the, in terms of the rocker, um, there's, this is not a particularly rockered board, so I guess that you know um, makes sense in terms of the speed it carries. All right, so in conclusion, um, I am super impressed with this board. I can see why there's a bit of a, what I would call a pyro explosion taking place at the moment. There's one, two, three, there's about five or six people I know very well who've who've all just got one or are getting one. Okay, to finish off, I hope that's um, useful. I hope that gives some insight into the board. Um, I could not recommend this enough. I think uh, this board, the shape, the design. I mean, just look at the thing, it's so cool. It is one of the coolest boards I've ever seen. Um, definitely um, but great great fun just so much fun and for me that's the, the most important thing you know I'm not I, I work I've got family um, I need to I need to know that when I go out sailing I'm gonna get sort of maximum fun for every session I do uh, no matter what I'm on and this thing is just superb it's great fun so I would recommend it absolutely love the board um, if you get a chance to try one have a shot um, I think you'll love it and if you get the chance to buy one I would.